What is up, everyone? Dawn, 24 Picker. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? That's the first thing. I'm doing things a little bit different today. So a sound check, please. Sound check. <laughs> Would have my sunglasses on, but it's not too bright out here today. Hi, Michelle. Can you hear me? Can you hear me well? Sounds good. Perfect. <laughs> I was worried about that because I am on my laptop and my laptop sound quality is not that great, but you never can tell. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day outside. So I was like, I'm going to do this outside today and all this crap's in my truck and I didn't want to take it inside. <laughs> uh, it's half lazy, half uh, yeah, rolling with the punches, I guess. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Jim. I know who you are, Jim. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It rained all most of the day yesterday, but uh, man, I just love nice weather. Makes me want to get out in the rivers and the creeks and the yeah. Just love it. Have all my. What's weird about this neighborhood is everybody has their windows and doors closed all the time. My windows are open. I want the fresh air. Man, I love it. Love this time of year. Yeah, the real reason Anissa is that I didn't want to carry this crap inside, but it is nice outside, so <laughs> why not? I'm wearing shorts and short sleeves. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, good morning, everyone. Anissa, John, the Cincinnati Picker, Gina, Mary McQuain, good morning, part-time pickers. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, let me do this here. Okay. Sorry, everyone, for the silence. My neighbors were leaving. I didn't want to look at want them to look at me like a weirdo. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, good. I'm glad everything's working right. So we're going to jump right into the to the hall here. I got. I didn't. We didn't do too great, honestly. But uh, you know, for being not that good, it's not bad. You know, I got uh, three IKEA bags full, and I'm like I said, I'm gonna go in a little bit more in depth about the weather tech stuff. But uh, yeah, we got. Uh, I'm gonna get over here so I make sure I'm showing you guys. We got these. Um, black diamond they're called gators but essentially they're spats they're like you wear these so you don't get stuff down in your boots and uh these are brand new with the tags and violet and yellow were half off so these were only three dollars and fifty cents and i didn't even comp these because honestly i may keep these myself because uh, these even help not only with snow and stuff but out if you're out in the uh in the weeds and in the rivers and stuff but anyway i may sell those depending on what they comp at Next up, we got the, this was funny. There's no comps on this. There was other versions, but this Breezy Bear. And this is a thing you put underneath your door so the, you know, cold air doesn't get in or warm air, whichever one. And uh, this looks like it never been used. It's in its original box. There were some other animals of this that comp $20, $25. But uh, we paid, we got about 25% off, so we paid about 5 bucks for this. And I don't know what this will comp at. It's pretty cute. But, you know, 20 to $30 probably in that range. Okay, we got three rolls of this stuff. Here's one, two, three. And they're all brand new. My wife picked these up, so I have to read off what these are. This is this Graham and Brown, which I've sold some, uh, like, wallpaper border. That's Graham and Brown. Crowskill is the best wallpaper border stuff, but Graham and Brown's not too bad. And this is a paintable textured vinyl wall covering interesting but uh, we gave about five bucks a roll for this stuff but this stuff sells for about 20 25 dollars per roll these are brand new so three rolls so you're looking at 60 to 75 dollars pretty good 
you know, even though we're fifteen dollars in, but still it's gonna be about you know forty, fifty dollar profit. It's all said and done. Okay, we got the basic, you know, new in the package, Sex in the City DVD set for a dollar. It's half off. So not worth that much, but 10, 15 bucks. What do we got here all wrapped up? Probably a coffee mug. So a coffee mug this morning. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got two of these actually. We get the other one. A pair of them. These are heavy duty. Camp Letts. Camp Letts is a Boy Scout camp, and uh, there's no comps exactly on these, but these are super heavy duty, kind of almost diner style mugs. No spoon star marks. These are only fifty cents a piece. Got half off. And uh, we think, you know, anywhere from 15 to $20 a piece, probably, or I may sell them as a set for, you know, 40 or something like that. So, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good mugs. Um, this uh, Franklin, vintage Franklin horseshoe set in the box. Uh, everything's in there. We opened it up, make sure the stakes and the horseshoes themselves. And uh, picked this up for two bucks. And these sell for 25, 30 bucks or so. I got this Umbra. I've sold a lot of Umbra stuff. This Umbra Meadow jewelry stand. This is brand new in the box, $4. And these sell anywhere from 25 to $35 or so. My dogs are literally howling inside. I don't know if you can hear them. They're missing me. <laughs> They're howling. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a keyboard. This is, you know, I pick these up when I find them cheap. This one's not too terribly cheap. It was $5. But it was still uh, new in its original box. This is a Dell Quiet Key from the 90s. And these sell for about 25, 30 bucks. You know, nothing spectacular. It's not, it's not a hundred dollar keyboard, but it's still pretty good. Okay. So that was the second Ikea bag full of stuff. Okay, we got this. Um, let me see what you guys are saying. Sorry, I got it on the camera so I can see. Hey, Joe, Family Flips, how's it going? Okay, let me go back over here. Okay, I got this bread maker. We got one last week and we got one this week, but this one's a little bit different. This is a Hitachi. We got it for $5. Okay, my neighbor's home again, so I'm probably going to be quiet for a second. I think she went and dropped off her daughter at the train station. So, yeah. I'll wrap these mugs back up. Be with you guys in a second. Joe, I can hear my kids howling from the inside also. My son sounds like your dogs too. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yeah, neighbor get her mail. One drawback about doing it outside, <laughs> but anyway. Okay, Hitachi bread maker. This is the HBB one hundred two. We got this for five dollars, and with this one. It's in pretty good condition. You know, I opened up, make sure the pan's in there and all the, the 
paddle and everything. Here's the little paddle pans in there. And uh, this one would probably sell as it is for $35 or $40. But um, I think parting this one out is the way to go because the pan and the paddle itself sell for what the whole unit would bring. The FedEx guy. So, and I think there's other parts and pieces I can take off this to sell as well. So I'm going to park this one out. The Hitachi bread maker. And, you know, the rest of it will just get recycled. Okay, sorry about that. Neighbor was going in. <laughs> Danger of doing outside. Okay, next up, we got the third IKEA bag full of stuff. We got a pair of uh, shorts. And these are brand new with the tags. These are Nast, which is an okay brand. You know, you've probably heard people talk about them before. There's the tags. And where's the price tag on these? There they are. Violet and yellow are half off, so we've got these for four dollars. And you know, it's not a huge sale, but you know, twenty-five dollars or so on the shorts. Okay, these uh these were the weird find of the day. Um I comp these of course, but uh, there was a lot of t shirts, a lot of polo shirts, but these are button up shirts and these are Lamborghini. Yeah, Lamborghini button-up shirts. Put the uh, logo on there. And uh, paid up a little bit for these, about $5 each for these. Um, like I said, uh, the comps were few and far in between. And I got several of them. This one's actually a linen one. This one's a linen. I'll have to put it in my steam cabinet. Still Lamborghini. You know, obviously someone donated a lot of them. The bull logo. And this one's actually brand new with the tags. This one's really cool. Just under five bucks. It's funny how the one that's brand new with the tags, they priced cheaper than the other ones. Yeah. And this one's really cool because it has some other embroidery. It has a patch and on the back it has... Check that out. An Italian, I'm guessing. I don't know Italian, but the, it's so cool. That was three of them, and here's the, the last one. I got four of them told them. This one's brand new with the tags, too. And again, five, $5 or so. And this one has the patch. So, yeah, these, these shirts, I mean, the new ones, I think, could be about 60 or $70 each. The used ones, um, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Low as 30 maybe as high as 40 45 but it's really, really hard to tell. <laughs> Sorry, I went over to the chat. On the uh, bread machine, on this said uh, that that was just grease pencil. You know, I'd just take a goo gone and wipe that right off. Oh, you can make keto bread with them, Anissa. Yeah, I've done that myself. Uh, you can make any type of bread in a bread machine, a bread maker. Yeah, fresh one, absolutely, Jim. Fresh warm bread. Mm -mm -mm, good stuff. I haven't either, Jim. The, the Lamborghini shirts was a new one with on me. Um, but yeah, it's really, really neat. And I was stoked to find them. So, next up we got... These, besides the Biggie Levi's I found, I think these are the most vintage Levi's I've ever found in my life. These are straight 70s. Check the, the diamond pattern. It has the orange tab. Check that out. 
I paid up a little bit for these, like six and change. These are so vintage. Try to show you the inside tags. Yeah, cheers. Check this out. Probably mid seventies because it has the small e, not the big e. They stopped doing the big e in about seventy two. It's still mid seventies. And there are forty two, thirty two. It's really hard to see. Yeah, with the the diamond pockets. Um, yeah, I think these will be okay. Uh, no comps on these, of course, but I think they'll be okay at that 40 to 60 range. May try Etsy on those. Poshmark. Yeah, really neat. Just really, really cool vintage stuff. And next up, we got the Bop It Bounce. And this is new in the box. Uh, the box is a little bit dinged, which is what I usually get. But I got this one for $2. It was half off. It was a uh, violet. You can see it down there. These sell for about 25 bucks or so. Okay, the, this Ikea thing. I don't ever, don't pass up your Ikea stuff, it, especially when it's new. Look it up. Like, this is a swing. Because Ikea stops making stuff. And this is for indoors. Or, or, or outdoors. Yeah. The yeah, indoor, outdoor swing. And you paid about six and change for this. But these things, yeah, look it up if you want to. The... E-K-O-R-R-E. -E. Just look up that word, and there's several different versions, but the this one, this swing, this sells for about 75 bucks. Souls, not just listed. So, uh, yeah, there's a Mr. Squirrel coming to visit me. Okay, so yeah, don't pass up your Ikea stuff. You see it. I mean, most of the time, it's not going to be worth anything, but sometimes they work okay. Got a pair of Fiesta Wear mugs, the single finger. The single fingers are tend to be a little bit more valuable than the bigger loop ones. But uh, I paid two and change each for these. But they're worth about 15 bucks a piece. Okay, we got... I've sold Baldwin stuff before. It's the first time I found it brand new in the package. Though. These are Baldwin brass candlesticks and the snuffer. I paid about $7.50 for this. And these sell for about $35, $40. So, yeah. I've sold just the, you know, the used candlesticks before. Much less new in the package. Like that. Okay. I got these wheels, these casters for myself. I'm going to put my plastic folding table that I have in there that I usually do this on, on wheels. And I already got the inserts. There's inserts you can put in the leg and you just pop wheels in them. But, you know, casters can be expensive. But we found this set of eight. And these are heavy duty. With the bronze or brass. For only two and change. So, yeah. I'll pay $20, $30 for a set of four when I got eight heavy duty ones for two bucks. I've been holding out for something like that. <laughs> and found them finally. So, yeah. That was... The Lamborghini stuff is just really cool. And, uh, yeah. Just awesome. And fine. Okay, see what you guys think. <laughs> Michelle says, the shirt just says, the legend continues. That's awesome. In Italian. Yeah, on the jeans. That's awesome. Hey, Dan. How's it going, man? I, I want to tell you guys, like, I usually don't like doing these live, of course, because, I mean, pre-recorded brings better numbers, both, uh, you know, financially and overall. But uh, my wife had to w go into work this week, today. Usually she teleworks, and that's why we can film, and she has time to edit and stuff. But she has to work, so, uh, yeah, doing it live. That's why I'm doing it live. So, sorry about that, especially the patrons, because usually I would give the haul video out early to patrons, and... So, yeah. But anyway, that's why I did it. And uh, so, yeah. Okay, so showed a little bit of the weather tech stuff. But, yeah, this uh, this stuff should be pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of these window things. And this all this all is brand new in the boxes. Yeah. I really need to, if it's going to be really nice day and not rain anymore, I'm going to get out here and list some of this stuff. 
Yeah, yeah, a bunch of it's far back up in there. But, uh, yeah. If you guys can see all that. Yeah, that should be pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to part out the bread machine. Got some other good stuff. Yeah, those, I'm really curious what those Lamborghini shirts will do. And this was just two thrift stores. A guy, this was, you know, nothing crazy. Uh, did not go any, into any uh, garage sales this weekend, which I think I'm going to, or last weekend. I think I'm going to do that this weekend, though. i got to go to some garage sales, pick up some stuff for the auction. Oh, yeah, the auction. <laughs> Thanks to everyone that's registered. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Uh, setting it almost 40 registrations. I wanted to hit 50 uh, before we schedule our first auction, and I still hope to do that. I got a live video scheduled for tomorrow to show off some more lots. So if you haven't registered for the auction, please do that. Newfoundpass.com. Um, yeah. So what would you guys think? That's that's our haul. That's a, Like I said, it wasn't that great. Not to my normal standards but that was only two thrift stores um i really am trying to uh control myself <laughs> i have been selling more than i've been buying which is great has anyone gotten the uh, i just the other day i got the invitation i think scott doing a video about this but i think i got the invitation the other day to uh opt in for the ebay payments and i like it in theory i like that you're not having to answer on returns to two different places you know because if like ebay sides with you and they you know dispute on paypal paypal could rule against you i mean it's just a crapshoot I like that it's, you know, one decision and it's done. But, you know, so many people use PayPal. I mean, a lot of people just use credit cards and debit cards anyway. So I don't think it's that big of an issue. But they also, the uh, you can't use global shipping program with the new eBay managed payments, which is weird because it's their own programs. You can still sell internationally, but you have to do it yourself outside of the global shipping program. Oh, did they, Michelle? They must have just did that because in the email I got just the other day that it wasn't even an option. So, uh, yeah, that's good to hear. Oh, yeah, the gem on the Lamborghini shirts. Thanks for doing that. Especially the new tag ones, you know. I, of course, I'll be reasonable on the used ones, but the new tag ones, I'll shoot pretty high on those. So, hey, Destiny. Shamrock Pixie, good morning. I think Destiny, yeah, Destiny registered for my auction. Thanks for doing that. I reached out to Dwayne on Facebook the other day. Not that I wanted him to pimp my auction or help out at all or anything, but I just, uh, I like what he does. You know, every Saturday night that me and my wife aren't out doing stuff, I, uh, I watch his auction. And I really like what he does. So, yeah, Jim, the, yeah, eBay is, which is smart business decision. They want to manage all that stuff themselves, which is really, and who knows what goes into business decisions, but, you know, eBay for a while owned PayPal. So why did they get rid of it if they're going to do their own thing? But who knows what goes into those decisions? They have their rhyme and reason. Oh, yeah, with the PayPal thing, Michelle. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Joe. So, yeah. Uh, no, Anissa, he's actually scheduled out through, like, the end of July having guests on selling stuff. So he's doing it all through the summer, I guess. Um, yeah. But ours is, is on track. And uh, yeah, of course the more registrations, the better, the more participation, the better, but uh, yeah, but I do like the idea of that new, the, the eBay, you know, one decision, I mean, no matter, you know, eBay does make bad decisions. We all know that. But uh, 
it's better where everything's just in one spot, you know. Yeah, Jim, they, they are. They were they were separate initially, and then eBay owned PayPal, and then eBay sold them, and they're separate. But now eBay's going to do their own thing. So it's been, and that's been over several years. But yeah, it's it's weird. But you know, what can you do? <laughs> I've actually made a few sales on Poshmark, which is awesome because you know any avenue you can get your stuff out there, the better. Um, but eBay has been eBay. What can you do? You know. No problem, Jim. Okay, sorry it's uh, abbreviated today, but like I said, the haul wasn't that great. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna list some stuff. Yesterday, I listed a bunch of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I think I friended a bunch of people on Facebook. Uh, when I see people I recognize, I go ahead and friend them. Good morning, no shans. But uh, I listed a bunch of stuff for local sale on uh, Facebook Marketplace because I have some small furniture I've been collecting all winter. Some pretty good stuff, and I've actually gotten a couple of nibbles. You know, no one has taken, you know, until the cash is in hand on Facebook Marketplace. You never can tell. Somebody will say they want it. It doesn't mean anything. It's a still a 50-50 shot at best. So, yeah. Hoping to pump that up this summer, too. I'll get all that stuff listed on the Facebook Marketplace. Get some cash in hand, because that's what we all do it for, right? You know what's funny? The other day, I'll check that out. There's my sister. First time. Everyone say hi to Bobby Wilson there. That's my sister. Oh, she's listening. Look at that. She, I don't know. She may have been at a stoplight. You know, I've done that before. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess it's a it's a moral imperative that I give my own sister a ranch, right? There you go. Bobby's now a, has a ranch. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm hoping some uh, garage sales will be happening this Thursday, because sometimes people do garage sales on Thursdays around here. But uh, yeah. I want to get out to those and uh, yeah, big announcements on the auction tomorrow in our live video tomorrow. I got it scheduled already, so I hope you guys all tune in for that. But um, yeah, that's about all I had for the day. Uh, did our haul, some good stuff, some unique stuff, don't you think? And uh, yeah, hope to get all that listed today. So, all right, guys, I guess that's all my dogs are whining and howling, so i got to go in and rescue the puppies, and uh, hope you guys all have a great rest of the day. <laughs> all right, guys, see you later, sis. See you later, guys. You guys have fun today.